boys. It's time. How the fuck are you festive felchers doing today? It's the Aussie Metalhead here, and this is my second fucking last review of the year, man. God damn, we've got one more album to talk about tomorrow, and then that is it for 2018. God damn, it's been such a cool fucking year. I want to thank every single one of you motherfuckers for supporting this fucking channel. Just giving a shit about the content that I'm putting out means the absolute world. Really, really appreciate it. Everyone that sent in requests uh, for their music to be reviewed this year, you guys are absolutely friggin' awesome. Can't tell you how much it means to me to see people coming forward and asking me to talk about their stuff. It's just fucking huge. It means the world. Really fucking appreciate it. But, enough of all of that. Let's fucking get into why I'm fucking here today. Psychroptic have been a staple of Australian extreme metal for many years and one of my all-time favourite fucking bands. Their early material, such as most prominently for me, Symbols of Failure, just redefined what I believe death metal was when I heard it. Going along in their fucking discography, Observant just completely changed the game for me. I was absolutely blown away by that release and of course Scepter of the Ancients to follow. Uh, in the later years though, the inherited Repression was not my favourite album. I just didn't feel like the material on that release was quite as strong as some of it there. Former work. Uh, the self-titled album in 2015 was a bit of a divisive release when it dropped. I think that for a lot of old school Psychroptic fans the change to more stripped down grooves and a more linear format of songwriting was just a bit full on for some people. Myself included. I'm not to say that the self-titled album was a bad release by any extent it definitely had some real high points, definitely in tracks like Cold, what an absolute anthem that song fucking is. But I feel like it is 2018's as the Kingdom Drowns that has truly, truly defined to me what modern day Psychroptic is to sound like. I believe that as The Kingdom Drowns is able to bring together elements from their earlier and later work and unify them in a way that I don't believe we have seen in any other psychroptic release of the last six to eight years. So without any further fucking ado, let's talk about what could quite possibly be the best album of 2018. Let's fucking get into this. So we start out with We Were The Keepers. My god, what a fucking banger of an opening this is. No fucking around whatsoever. After a couple of cool little righty triplets, we just get thrown straight in to the catastrophically fucking insane riffage going on in this fucking intro. It's so classic psychroptic. The drums, however, just... I don't know, man. I feel like on this album he's ticking boxes that he wasn't ticking before. Drummer Dave Haley has always held quite a bit of respect for me and many other drummers that I know for his incredible technicality and clean, crispy fucking delivery. This album, however, I feel like he's truly evolved his playing and surpassed his own fucking boundaries. Not only are these al uh, this album's drums insanely proficiently technical, but he's also stripped things down to incredible extents. The grooves are absolutely unfucking deniable and his handwork has improved tenfold. Uh, I think that he's really ticking some boxes that he wasn't ticking earlier in his career with his playing. I think that things are more dynamic and diverse on this album than they've ever been before. The same can be said for pretty much everyone. Josh Haley, guitarist, absolute riff lord of a man, is absolutely shredding all over this fucking album. Incredibly proficient riffs. And then non-stop, man. The riffs on this fucking album are utterly fucking constant. I really don't have anything negative to say. Uh, Cameron Mark, I believe his name is, the bass player. Absolutely fucking incredible. Mixing-wise, I mean, I understand that these guys are incredible incredibly talented in the studio. The way they've managed to craft the sound, scope, and tone of this album is immensely fucking impressive. One thing that majorly stood out to me, and I'm gonna be recurring this throughout the fucking talk, the goddamn toms 
sound amazing, man. There are sections in pretty much all these songs where you really do feel the extra emphasis that they placed on certain key parts in the song, emphasis in the way that the toms are brought up through the mix. It's just, man, I don't know how to record drums, so I'm quite a layman when it comes to this. But I, though I might not be able to describe it very well, I find the way that they mix the drums on this album to be the best drums that I've heard all goddamn year. Fucking amazing. It's not just Cameron, Josh and Dave that are firing on all cylinders here though. Jason is absolutely shredding. His fucking vocal presence on this album is second to none. I think that it's his best vocal performance. I think the dynamic range he's displaying here surpasses everything that he's done previously. And as a huge fan of classic Psychroptic, I never thought uh, they would release another album that could possibly top their old work. Not only have they done that, they've taken themselves in a direction that I actually think surpasses their early work. This is dynamic as fuck. The use of these crazy, massive cleans in the background, adding this warrior-like marching anthem to practically every track. The emphasis on his vocal range is just fucking incredible. Man, I'm diverting from my script so much right now because it's just so goddamn impressive to see a band in their later years able to redefine themselves, bring themselves back in this modern age of repetitive kind of derivative material and have a comeback that works so goddamn well. Not to say that Psychroptic were in any need of a comeback, but I believe that it's the only way to properly sum this up. Psychroptic have returned after a three year wait fucking better than ever, man. This opening track is absolute evidence of that. Moving along, we hit Frozen Gaze. I fucking love the riff in this opening section. So maliciously groovy. It has a real serpentine venom to it. Kind of reminds me of something that we would have seen off the self-titled Psychroptic album. Once again, they're managing to juggle elements of the old and new really well. We jump into a classic Psychroptic riff. Blast beats galore with Jason fucking roaring over everything else. Extremely catchy, extremely effective, but they don't let you get comfortable as we jostled through numerous different riff changes. The drums absolutely propulsive. Dave knowing when to mix up his kick patterns to keep things nice and fresh. The chorus comes in, which is pan terror levels of fucking group. Again, Listening through headphones, it's undeniable the effort that they put to the fucking drums here. The way that the toms just absolutely smash through everything. The snares nice, tight and crispy. The cymbals glisten over everything. Just adding this really, really nice crescendo-like effect. It's just cascading constantly. So fucking impressed with the drums on this album, man. Josh has always been a fucking impressive guitar player, but I feel like on this album, he's really sort of pushed himself. And it seems to be here that he's pushing himself in kind of the opposite direction. Sort of feels like they're avoiding trying to just chuck notes into the song for the sake of it. Every note and every stroke really feels quite deliberate. And I think that adds to the overall intensity of the performance. It's so meticulously calculated, but so frenzied at the same time. It's a balance that I feel like it's, it's very, very rare to find bands that can hold that as well as Psychroptic do. Again, this fucking chorus breaking open into this awesome fucking stank beats. I know Psychroptic ripping a fucking stank beat. What's the world coming to, man? But it works so goddamn well. Another massive fucking chorus. Some of this album just feels cerebral to me. It's just so strange to hear this level of melody and an emphasis on these huge fist-pounding choruses. It really is a sign of a new beast awakening inside Psychroptic. As a bass player myself, I would be utterly remiss if I didn't mention just how goddamn juicy the bass on this fucking release is. Some of the fucking lines and the interesting counterpoints in between the guitar riffs and the bass riffs, it's, it's just absolute fucking money, man. This is just such a well fucking put together album. Jumping right through into this album's main single, we have Directive, an absolute fucking knee buckler of a fucking tune. I got to see Psychroptic play recently at the uh, Badlands here in Perth. 
as part of the tour for this album. This song was absolutely ridiculous in its intensity. The pit was fucking insane. The energy that these guys are delivering, and that's what I love the most about this album. Out of everything, the dynamics, the impressive mixing, the new focus on the interesting songwriting that we haven't seen from them. Man, the one thing that really struck me was just how well these songs translate into the live situation. They really did write these songs for fast walls, for mosh pits, for crowd interaction to the fucking maximum. I know I'm just coming across as an absolute preachy yes man motherfucker right now, but I really am struggling to find many negative things to say about this album. I feel like every song lasts just as long as it fucking needs to. As soon as you start feeling just a little bit monotonous, which rarely happens on this release, let me tell you that. As soon as you start feeling like you need a bit of a change up, they give you the goddamn change up, man. All those little elements that you hope they do, I really hope they do a symbol flourish here. Yeah, you bet your fucking ass they got a symbol flourish there. Oh god damn it, this needs to break. The bass just needs to drop and the guitar needs to fill in. Bass needs to come in in a few seconds to smash you in the cunts. Yeah, you fucking got that too, man. This is what I'm talking about. Playing and writing all for the live scenario, man. It just shows on this album so goddamn much. Next up, we have one of the curveballs on As The Kingdom Drowns. This is Deadlands, a trashy anthem, a frenzy-picked, stank-beat fucking beauty. This one was a real unexpected but welcome addition to the track list. It mixes things up so fucking well. And whilst I was perturbed at the initial riff, as soon as Jason's vocals comes in, you feel quite at home and you realise, yeah, Subcroptic can handle a goddamn fucking thrash song, you bet your ass they fucking can. Again, uh, I'm so utterly impressed with Josh Haley's performance on this album. He's already such a fucking respected guitarist. He's already so well known uh, for his ability to write a goddamn riff. But I just feel like he's outdone himself here, man. I really don't know what they're going to do next to top this because every fucking riff I like on this album, there's not a single riff that I can't bang my fucking head to. There's not a single section that I don't remember. Although this is a nine track affair, and again, as I was saying a few videos ago regarding Archspire, um, writing shorter albums just seems to be the main focus of bands these days, and I couldn't be more behind it. I feel like if you're going to write less songs and focus on making the songs that you do have just utterly insane, fucking go for it, man, because this album has no fat to trim whatsoever. I really don't have any gripes with any of these songs. I couldn't say that any of them last too long because they're all varied and dynamic enough. They all flow together. Everything still has that classic snaky, poisonous little fucking drop of classic psychoptic venom. But there's so much new shit in here as well. There's so many meaty grooves, memorable fills, and just really clever fucking cheeky composition. So fucking pleased with the result of this song in particular. Alright guys, it's time to talk about my favourite fucking track on the album, which was a very, very hard decision to come to, but I have found it in my heart to say that yes, As The Kingdom Drowns is my favourite fucking track off this goddamn album. It's so fucking incredible, but we'll get to that in a sec. Me and my mates have been sort of arguing the uh, the supreme track on this album, which is a really difficult one to come to. Uh, it was ultimately a toss-up between We Were The Keepers, Directive, the title track, Beyond The Black, and You Belong Here Below. Not discarding uh, upon this, these stones and Monument to the Void as well, because they're both fucking incredible. You can see what I mean, it's a really difficult fucking decision to come to. All in all, I believe that this is the crowning jewel of this fucking album, man. This is quite possibly the best riff I think that Psychroptic have ever fucking written. The fills and the way that the bass and the guitar interestingly counterpoint one another throughout that section with the bass being absent for the main lick and coming in after the on the third or the fourth. That's just the shit that gets stuck in people's fucking heads and has made it really difficult for me to put this fucking album down. Another monolithic fucking chorus that just really does show how much untapped talent these motherfuckers still have all these albums into their career and they're still surprising us and they're still head fucking us at points on this album although everything i've heard here works 100 fucking percent again 
If you are a fan of drums, man, if you're an engineer, if you're just a drumming enthusiast, listen to this fucking album with headphones, crack the fucking mids up, and enjoy this incredibly defined fucking mixing experience that is the goddamn drums on this fucking album, man. So goddamn impressive. Over the halfway mark here, and I'm just going to sort of try to rapid fire some of these songs so this video doesn't end up being too long. But here we are with Beyond the Black. Another intense classic psychroptic opener with some frenzied string skipping fucking fury before landing into the main fucking riff of the song. Straight up classic fucking psychroptic going on here. Jason walking that fucking fine line between interesting more groove oriented new vocal patterns and more of the classic just utterly everything at once kitchen sink smashing you over the head kind of vocal attack that he was legendary for. Once again though very fucking elements in the drums, keeping all of the riffs nice and fresh. The fucking chorus here again, just man, every single goddamn chorus on this album is a goddamn fucking winner. This is one section of the song that I was really fucking excited to talk about. This fucking groove is utterly infectious. Fucking huge. If you were to ask me of the musical interpretation of fire, that fucking riff would be it, man. On These Stones has an interesting, slow, melancholy build-up, almost feeling like something at home on a Tool release. These really open, panning, drenched in reverb guitar lines cascading over one another. With just again, Dave, man, you just the fucking king of the skins, dude. My fucking god, the drum work on this fucking album, the way that they pan across, just everything, dude. This album is so fucking well mixed. What the fuck? As an Australian, I feel an overwhelming sense of pride in Psychroptic. I can't imagine because I can't speak for American or European audiences in particular, but it just seems like there are so many poster boys in, the, in those regions of the world for amazing fucking music, incredible legacies of outstanding caliber of musicianship. In terms of extreme metal that have reached real high levels of popularity here, I think that you can't go past Psychroptic. I think that they are the best um, of the of the large crop of, of mainstream success um, extreme metal bands here in Australia, man. Just like, man, that sentence didn't make any fucking sense, did it? So Acroptic, I believe, are the kings of the Australian metal scene. I have so much respect for them because they, unlike other uh, other bands, are their other contemporaries and their peers who have sort of like waned their support from the Australian scene, moved overseas to find uh, better demographics. Psychroptic have remained and they continue to be passionate about bringing extreme metal here to Australia. Here to our shores, I have nothing but fucking respect for them for that. And I feel like dynamic shifts such as this track in particular really do show that these guys are one of the most forward thinking fucking bands in the Australian scene. They are a band to be listening to, they are a band to be following, they are a band to be fucking paying attention to, gun. This is about goddamn time that these guys really start to get the attention that they deserve. Psychroptic have, for all intents and purposes, become a very successful band. They've influenced generations of extreme metal bands. Musicians such as myself have been influenced by them and wanted to become better musicians hearing their music. But I think in particular, Psychroptic's attitude towards the local Australian Australian scene is the reason that I respect them so much. Monument to the Void comes fucking cranking in with this really cool slow jam of an intro. Something very different, it's not something that we've really heard Psychroptic do much, uh, bringing these really kind of slow chill out grooves into it before landing us in one of the coolest hooks that they've ever fucking written, man. Money behind these riffs, dude. So goddamn fucking impressed. I know we're running through these last few tracks pretty fast guys, but I'm really just trying to keep the fucking run time on this video down a bit. I do admit I, I really did gush on the earlier songs in the album, uh, but right here man, the final track, You Belong Here Below, ends the album right where it fucking needs to on a short but sweet fucking adrenaline fueled fist pump and ride into Riff Town. Fucking so sweaty cut, Jesus Christ. 
So I cropped it, man. They get the fucking pits wet, I'll fucking tell you that much. So this review isn't as in-depth as some of my others have been. Um, I didn't want to analyze this album too much. This was one of those albums where I honestly couldn't pick it apart half as much as I wanted to. Because this is a package deal. This is an album that must be listened to in full. This is an album that has to be respected for its own merits, and you're not going to have any problem with that whatsoever. What I more mean by that is that this is an album whose experience has changed the way that I think about this band completely. And I think that that's more important to talk about maybe than uh, uh, deeply analysing these songs that have already been addressed by so many other critics. Uh, I do mainly focus on my local scene these days, so when it comes to a, a band that's reached international success, I'm more interested to talk about the impact that the album, I believe, has, has had on me as an individual and can have on the scene. This is a tremendously exciting time to be an Australian metalhead and an Australian metal musician. To be a part of a scene where music like this is being created is an absolute fucking honour and a joy. And this, I believe, is the, the best work that Psychoptic has put out. I think that this is an album that shows its loyalty to its local scene through both its persistence, the band's hard work ethic to get to the point that they're at. I am extremely impressed by this fucking release, I can tell you that much. All in all, I cannot recommend Psychroptics as The Kingdom Drowns enough. I think that this is one of the absolute high points of this fucking year. Expect this to be in my fucking top 10 of 2018, which will be coming out on New Year's, motherfucker! In my opinion, this album is the pinnacle of Psychroptics' career. Uh, it's now my absolute favourite Psychroptic album, not something that I ever thought I would say that a 2018 Psychroptic album would end up being my favourite. That's just fucking insane to me. But it's the fucking truth, my favourite Psychroptic album, and I think that it just might be the best album of 2018 at that. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me today. Stay tuned for another fucking review coming out tomorrow and for my top 10 of 2018 that'll be coming out on New Year's, motherfuckers. I hope you cunts have a sick fucking weekend. And until then, stay 